Global Safety Council presents Right to Know Chemical Hazards, a Refresher Program. Let's say you're in an area where you don't normally work and you spill something on your hand. At the time, you think nothing of it. You just wipe off your hand and forget about it. Later, your skin turns red and begins to itch. Maybe it even blisters or burns. Now you wonder, what did I get on my hand? Chemicals are everywhere. Ingredients in manufacturing operations. Reagents in laboratory processes. Even cleaning solutions on the plant floor, in the office, or at home. All of these chemicals are very useful, but some of them can also be hazardous to our health or safety. And this raises some important questions. Which chemicals are hazardous? What kinds of dangers do they present? What precautions should we take when we are working with them? These are the types of questions that led to the development of OSHA's Hazard Communication Standard and other right-to-know laws. The goal of these regulations is for you to have all of the information, training, and equipment you need to work safely with hazardous chemicals. The hazard communication process begins with chemical manufacturers. They evaluate the dangers of the chemicals they produce. If a chemical is determined to have hazardous qualities, the manufacturer supplies this information to its distributors, shippers, and customers.